Welcome. In front of me is a Samsung Galaxy M23 and today I'll show you how you can go through the setup of this phone. So when you put it up for the first time you should be presented with this screen right over here. And all you need to do is select this button which will allow you to choose your desired language. So let me find English right here. And then on the next page we can connect to mobile network by inserting a SIM card or completely disregard it by selecting next. We have for your review, we have a user license agreement, so you need to select the first one, the second one is optional, and the third one just allows you to select both of them at once. And that brings us to the next page, there's permissions for Samsung apps and services. You can deny all of them uh, if you want to. Once the app that you want to open needs some kind of access to something that is right here, it will tell you that you need to grant it to it. So you can do that at that point. Uh, I'm not going to bother changing it, anything right here right now though. Then we have Wi-Fi connection. Now I'll mention that if this device is completely brand new, unpacked from my device uh, and it was sealed, you are required to connect to Wi-Fi for some stupid reason. Uh, I have no clue why, so there we go. I don't need to, just because I already did set up this device once, so I can now skip it. This brings us to another page which is copy apps and data. This is completely optional and you don't need to do that. It allows you just to move over all your old data from an old device to this one if you want to. Now before I progress any further, I will mention a couple things. So those things would be that once you connect to Wi-Fi, the device will start looking for updates. And that will take you about 10 minutes. Uh, for no apparent effing reason, uh, your time will be wasted uh, right there. So just, just hold tight. Uh, the device isn't stuck, it's not like on an infinite loop, it just takes forever. Uh, it's been like that since uh, the new releases of Samsung, so just bear with it. It doesn't matter what kind of Samsung you got, you might have the, S, um, the S22 uh, Ultra or this one, and both of them will be setting up for ages. Uh, it's not really the performance of the device, it's something that Samsung, I guess, messed up. So. That's one. And number two, uh, once you connect Wi-Fi, you need to restart the device. Because reasons. So, don't worry, this is again normal. And you only need to do that for the first initial setup. Later on, everything works normally, fast, and as it should. So, there we go. Now, moving on further with the setup. We are presented with a date and time. Now, this is only going to be visible for me considering I chose to skip Wi-Fi connection. If I connected to Wi-Fi, the date and time would be set automatically using internet. And this brings us to Google Play services, or just Google services. So we have things like location scanning and sending user and diagnostic data. Now going into those really quickly, location is just a GPS tracking for apps like Google Maps, so they can give you a correct uh, position on the map, uh, allows scanning a lot of devices to look for signals like Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, and then uh, send user and diagnostic data, allows Google to spy on you. From there, next page, we have protect uh, your phone, which allows you to set up some kind of protection to it. That'd be pin, pattern, password, and additionally fingerprint or face recognition. Maybe not or, and face recognition. Now, when it comes down to a physical unlocking method like pin, pattern, or password, you can only choose one of those three and you always need to choose one of the three if you're planning to use uh, face recognition uh, and or fingerprint. Uh, I'll be skipping it, I don't want to select anything right here. And this will bring me to the Samsung account, so if you try to skip it, it gives you this pop-up right here um, telling you that you want to skip out on all this, like it's some amazing features that they're offering here, like they're not plagiarized. So Samsung Cloud is obviously equivalent to Google Cloud, and because this is Android, uh, you have all the Google services right here. So Galaxy Theme, Entire Play Store, Find My Mobile, Find My Device, uh, Samsung Pass, uh, Google Passwords, I guess. I don't really know how it's called otherwise. Uh, Galaxy Store, again, Play Store and secure folder, which might be the only thing that you gain here that uh, isn't necessarily uh, given by Google to you. Now, because Samsung isn't really offering anything that I have use for, I'm just gonna skip it. And because I also prefer to use Google instead. 
and this brings me up to the end of the setup so let's select finish and we greet it with our home screen and there we go so if you found this very helpful don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching